Hey everybody, it's me, it's Matt, here with Monarchy Media, doing some downtime with devs, playing more Winter Moor Academy Tactics Club. Wait, is it Winter Moor Ta Academy Tactics Club, or is it just Winter Moor Tactics Club? I feel like I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Uh, you know what? I'll find out later. Hold up. I know a way to find out. One sec. Yeah, no, just Winter Moor Tactics Club. But I have been spelling it wrong. I've been putting an E at the end of it. Whoops. Anyway. Today is a combat game. Play Jania's module at the CNC table. Hell yeah. We will now feel the wrath of Mentok, the mind taker. <laughs> you don't know what that reference is, go watch Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Which I only recently found out Stephen Colbert is Ken Seven, and the, like the reason he stopped being a. Uh, uh, Ken 7 is because he got the Colbert War. Nuts. Uh, oh, Ender Battle. Okay. Players lost zero. Damage taken less than six. Turns taken four. Tactics powers used. Well, oh, right. The super moves. Hell yeah. Uh, is this the one that makes it friendly? Yeah, I want to keep that. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep the one extra damage. And yeah, let's use that glaive. Glaive! Oh, no, that's not a glaive. Glaive is the giant. This is a, uh... This is... Oh, yeah, glaive. Wait a minute. Then why does that Dota character throw, though, that, like, giant shuriken, and they call it a glaive? Hmm. Things to look into. Anyway, I see and see. Enter battle. Prepare for battle! Okay, my first time as a catacomb master. God, I tried DMing once. It was the worst experience. Granted, because this guy, Dexter, that was... I mean, Scott. Not using real names. You're right, Dexter. Um, was just... He showed up, ate all of our foods, never actually did anything, was really obnoxious to the rest of the party, and then left, and then would never show up for the rest of our sessions, and we pretty much disbanded the group. I blame him for everything. But I, will n I won't try DMing again for a long time. We were also trying 3.5, which was not smart. Looks like everyone's here. Let's start. Ahem. The sun sets over the sleepy town of Lemberg, Lemberberg, the same way it has set millions of times before. That's right, Alicia gets into it. But this time, a strange malaise hangs about the air. Something unnatural is afoot. The deepening purple twilight crests over the hills, its ominous coloration. Oh, uh, hey, you're trying to work on conciseness in your writing, right? <laughs> right, yeah, sorry. Okay, so um, you've met the psychomancer in the local tavern. All right, screw Colin, because she was actually doing exactly what a DM should do. You gotta set the scene. You gotta get them immersed, really feel it. When you're just like, as a DM, if you're just like, okay, so you meet the psychomancer, and now what? It's like, why do I care? Why should I continue playing this game? If you're going to make a game, if you're going to make a module, really make your players feel like they're a part of it. If you don't, you're wasting everyone's time. That, that's the same for, for, for designing an RPG. That's the same for designing a, 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 any, any game with story, any game with plot. That's what you need to do. The writing has to be your key focus for anything else, because if the writing's not good, granted, yes, like, people love the mechanics of, like, COD for one. Uh, nothing against you, Activision, I just, it's the same game every single time. Uh, no, it's not, but it is, and whatever. Uh, uh, but, like, the plot matters more than anything, at least in my opinion. Graphics can eat it, as long as the story and the writing's good. There seems to be some kind of townsperson seeking adventurers to aid the farms on the village outskirts against a vam vampiric raiding party. For just bandits. Uh, yeah, is that... is that bad? Not at all. Danya assures the helpless villager that we're... I mean, Danya assures the helpless villager that... We heroes are eager to heed the call of this adventurer. I gotta get better at that. We do not steal the mind. We do not borrow the mind. We take the mind. For I am Mentok, the mind taker. 
You named your character after yourself. It's spelled differently. To adventure! Alright. So, Rogi. Oh, wait, what does she even do? I'd like to. Okay. Right! Right, we looked at her. She leaves that, like, smoky trail that chains stuff. Right. Oh, if we made grappling magical, would that chain? No, it needs to have chaining, I think. Uh. Well, wait. Do we have to use him? Can we use her instead? Party. Uh. No, I want Janya. Or An Anjaya. Ah. Four turns taken. Well, ooh, what's her super ability? Oh, it doesn't look like she has one. Oh, because we probably need to do the thing to get it. Okay. So. I think this is going to be right. This whole episode, we're going to get, we're going to knock out all the combat that was on that sheet this episode. We're not stopping. This might be a long one. I start the battle by conjuring Magimist with Psychic Shout! Seriously, that stuff only makes enemies weak against magical damage. Rogi and Eowald only do physical damage. It's useless for us. Re the, you know, the rest of your party. Worry not, my Psychomancer magic will defeat these foes! Alright, so she wants us starting off with Psychic Shout. Luckily, we got that glaive, so it don't really matter. Well, even... Because we're still killing at least two of them. Shabam! Then... How much damage can we do to these guys? Hell, yes. Boom! I end my turn. I'm for the upkeep phase. Okay. That's a bad magic creature. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. So first things first. How much health does he have? He's got full health. Hmm. Where can we put him? Only put him. He does not have full health. But let's see how much damage we can do. No. Undo movement. Uh, I mean, if we pull him in, then Janya can do her thing. I mean, Mentok. Mentok can do her thing. <laughs> Look. To my boy. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's getting annoying. I'll stop after this episode. Maybe. No promises. Boom! Two turns! I'm stupendous. Staggeringly super savvy. Ah, uh, yes. No, uh, that's not how I did Ironfield's voice. It was, uh,. God, I haven't watched uh, uh, D20 Live or, like, like, sophomore year and freshman year are both done, so I haven't watched those in a bit. How did he do his voice? Ah, yes. No, that pretty much was it. Okay, whatever. Ideal. Yeah, that was actually more fun than I expected. Um, I wouldn't mind adding a little more flavor, though. I get that was a little uh, simple. Maybe I can take some time to actually write something and then get back to you? Accepted! I must go check on Handel anyway. See how he is coping with my absence. Seriously? Be a little less clingy, like, the kid's probably fine. Wait, is Handel... No. That's Scarlet. Oh, Handel's the little kid. The, the, the... I mean, he wasn't little, but... He was the, the boy with the, the... The hat like hers. No, he didn't have a hat like hers. He had a scarf. Come find me when you are ready to continue. Alright. 
Let's quickly talk to Colin. Oh, no, okay. He's already saying all that. All right. Let's give this one a go. If we can't do it without her, then maybe we'll hold off on these. I found some extra challenging puzzles in the back of CNC magazine. If you send in the right solution, they send you prizes. I didn't do great on his voice right there, but freaking whatever at this point. That, that's not the right attitude to have, but you know what I'm saying. All right. So I can actually do this, I think, a different way than they're intending. I think. Yeah, I think I've got this. So let me start off by pulling him in. Then have Colin whack him. Now, if I were to attack like that, nah, they want me using her super right away. But this would kill one of them and then leave. Who's his target? Oh, he's taunting, so that's okay. Who's their target? Closest, least health, closest. Hmm. You know what? What's his target? Least health. Ah. Uh, I'm doing this my way. Whether I did this right or not, we'll find out. Haunted. Please say I didn't screw this up. Okay, that's two damage. So far, so good. How many turns is this supposed to take? Okay, it doesn't show it. Let's tab do it? No. Okay, I think I've got this. Start. Oh wow, he straight up kills him. Oh, sweet. Cool. Yeah, no, I did it. Probably different than how they intended for this to be done. Oh, I didn't use the... Okay, I think it's weird that they have a minimum on the ultimate moves instead of a maximum. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's more of a challenge to not use the ultimate. Whatever. Uh, gain power word encouraged. Illuminate ability that grants plus two damage and plus two movement for one turn. Ah, oh, but chaining through friendlies is so good. I don't want to change it. I don't want to change it off the, the friendlies. Uh, gives enemies minus one physical armor for two turns. That's good. 
the world's basic attacks give plus two tactics points if he was attacked last turn. That's better. Tactic points are what let us use the alt. Okay. This one looks genuinely difficult. All players must stay alive. Uh, 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 stay alive. That was lame of me, and I apologize. Ooh, actually. I think this is how I want to do it. that he does an extra damage to unhurt enemies makes his physical armor mean freaking nothing to us. Boom. All right. They're going to move in a straight line. Ooh. Not how I expected them to move. Uh... Magimus thing. All right. Now, I think I am correct in after column. Right, so he can't get through. I'm awesome. Ooh, recharge period. Ooh, ooh, recharge period. Doesn't matter, because I'm awesome. This is recording, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Boom, 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 boom. I'm freaking amazing. In fact, I'm staggeringly super sad. And my neck is killing me. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, we just have Rogi left. I bet you there's one of these for every person that's gonna end up in our thing. Like, no doubt in my mind. Okay, all players must survive, obviously. Got these big dudes. Those guys scare me. I mean, obviously Colin's gonna need to be right there. What do these guys do? Least health the opponent will with the lowest current health. These guys are all ranged, and they're all going after, well, Anjaya. Uh, um, how should I do this? Okay. First, let's pull him in. 
Oh, he won't get pulled over that. Well, that was not my intent. Uh... You know what? Resetting that turn. What's he after? How does he target things? Most health. Whoa! What the hell? Shadow shove. I did not realize that's what it did. I thought it was just like a wham, bam, boom sort of thing. Oh, this thing has a lot of magical protection. That's not good. How do I... I need to corral them together and then have Colin and Rogi do their thing. But pulling them didn't work. It should have pulled them across the lake. River. The water. Water. Oh. She's kind of useless against them. Um, I kind of think I need Janius Mag Magimest. Ow, my foot. All right, Charlie Horse. Yeah, you know what? I need Janius Magimest for that to work. So I'm gonna hold off. Sorry, I know I said we were gonna get all of those, but I think that's legitimately necessary. Uh, let's put Colin's thing on, though. If he was attacked last turn, then this makes the attacks do best. There's totally going to be a thing where you can combine these rows. Or maybe you have to combine... No, nah, it wouldn't make sense if it was like this. These two go together so well. Oh, no. I don't know. I I'm, I'm probably reading too much. I tend to do that. Uh, what was it? I think I can write a better story for Giant. I should know when I'm... Right, so. Ooh, the note. The note. Oh no, but uh, Satavia is still there. Let's talk to Jane. There we go. And you've been meditating four times a day? Yeah, yeah Jane, yeah. Hold you. I'm fine. You have powerful empathic powers. So it's important to take time to calm yourself. You have the potential to become a great psychic hero. I'm going to help you. I can work on that by myself. It's really okay. Uh, Sorry, am I interrupting? I want to let you know that I'm ready to do more of your campaign if you want. Excellent! See you in the club. Hey, Alicia, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, huh? Sure, what's up? I was just thinking... Please go easy on Jania, okay? I know she can be a little overbearing, but she really means well. Maybe you could help her uh, tone it down a little? I, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'd really bring it up in a conversation. Maybe, maybe I can make it part of our CNC game. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Stories are great at helping people understand themselves. Very true. Maybe I can help Jania by writing my campaign to be about her. Then we could talk about it without actually, you know, talking about it. 
If you're a DM, don't actually do that. That will break up your party real fast. I guess it's sort of the least I can do after what we did to your club. That sounds great. Like a great idea. I sense the abilities of great people. I think... Oh, I think. Uh, thanks, I guess. All right, I'll get writing right away. You wanna write Jania's adventure now? If not, you can write it to the desk. Yeah, let's just do it now. We've done all the other stuff we can. Thanks. I think if I write a really good story, I can maybe help Jania learn to trust people instead of being so controlling. Maybe if I made a villain character that acts all bossy like she does, she might see why it bothers people. Hmm. Trolling villain. Like, maybe... I mean, a vampire. The, the evil psychics, too, on the nose. Some kind of hive mind that tries to absorb others. Or tyrannical... Qu yeah, I think I'm gonna go vampire. Uh... No, because he's... Yeah, vampire. Okay, but the villain can't just be that simple. I need to also make her some kind of cool monster who can have neat monster minions. Dragons are always cool. Wolf complains of the whole hierarchy of power thing. You always see snakes hypnotizing people in cartoons and stuff. A bee. Bees are controlled by a bossy leader, sort of. Thinking either a bee or a dragon. You know what? It's D&D. &D. We're doing dragons. A vampire dragon? Why would they even encounter a vampire dragon? Obviously, she's the precursor to a larger attack on the village. The dragon kidnapped Jania's friend, Randall. Maybe I'll just say the party wandered afoul of uh, her deadly domain. This is too on the nose. No. No, oh, yeah. Precursor. Hmm. Is this going to be too subtle? Need some way to show that Janya and the vampire the vampire dragon are similar to each other, so Janya can see it. Maybe Janya has a psychic Maybe Janya has a psychic vision in the future where she's an even worse dragon. Maybe Janya slowly starts to turn into some kind of evil dragon herself. Maybe the villain can have a monologue that might be okay. No, we are not having We're not starting monologuing. I mean here I am. One more blast from this ray, and I am an epitaph. Has me. What does he do? He starts monologuing. He starts monologuing! I know I screwed up a bit of those lines, but I think I was pretty close. Freaking incredible. Such a good movie. Uh, this makes no sense unless it's fairy tale. So. And this is also very fairy tale. I don't know. Alright, let's see how Johnny likes this adventure. This girl. I wonder if she joins our party. Isabella. Someday, I won't be tough enough to defeat the student council president, Octavia. I don't know if that's the voice I gave her. Probably not. I've been giving a lot of people Southern. I've been giving a lot of people English. And I don't know why. Uh, can I read the note outside the stadium yet? Nope, still nope. Okay. To the classroom we go. Stream club, the rocket. I mean, come on. What the hell? What the actual hell? Uh. I'm eager to be working with you, Alicia. Any force can stop the investigation now. Right. Yeah, yeah, we've already heard that. I just can't do rogies with that, like, the, the lack of being able to use magic. I mean, we could turn his stab into a thing that makes them susceptible to magic, but that's a one-person thing, so I think we need that magic mist. So it seems the Vamborks you fought were not merely attacking the village. They were fleeing the approach of a greater evil. The edges of the forest around you suddenly erupt with hideous dragon monsters. These dragon monsters must be the true threat attacking the village. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing that voice for her anymore. It actually hurts my throat. Oh, uh, why are some dragons attacking a village? 
In a flash of psychic intuition, the answer comes to Janya. With a sinking sensation, you realize that these can only be the minions of the legendary vampire dragon, the Grand Wormadon. The dragon monster approach. These don't look much like dragons. We only have some of the Saturn miniatures. You'll have to use your imagination. Intriguing. Now see, in all honesty, if I were her, I would have asked if any of them were good at art and uh, cut out like cardboard circles, put those on to get the actual models, uh, to, to like get a picture of what it was. But this is a clever way for a smaller company to make all the, to, to only use some of the things. Um, anyway, uh, to only have to make certain models, or in this case, drawings. Much like the basic uh, psychic techniques of projecting images into others' minds, I'll project an image on into my own mind. Ganya has seen dragon monsters like these before. Oh wait, the Grand Wormadon transforms all those she encounters into thralls of her dark vampiric power, helpless to do anything but her bidding. Uh, um, we'll use the Salt Shaker for the Grand Wormadon. Understood. More imagination. Everyone, with my powerful psychomancy, I'll take on the worm. The two of you should focus on the smaller goblin-shaped dragon monsters. That's supposed to be a cooperative game. Just because your character is overpowered doesn't mean you can just tell us what to do. Uh, okay, well, the worm is sending her dragons at you, so you better figure it out fast. I know I said we were going to do it all in one go, but this episode is getting a little long. And unfortunately, I have missed about five phone calls. So, we will pick this up next time. I'm looking forward to it, and I know you all are too. So, I'm Matt. This has been Monarchy Media, Downtime with Devs. Go check out all of our social media stuff. Just look up Monarchy Media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and go check us out on Twitch, because we stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, get ready for more of this, because I am loving it. It's so damn charming. That's right. All right, everybody. I'll see y'all later. Bye.